book Billy Allsbrooks to speak at your next event. Call 407-310-3275. Warning! Videos by Billy Allsbrooks do cause side effects. And those side effects are Champions being born Dreams being realized The weak becoming strong Weight loss Victory over unbelievable odds Incredible comeback stories The sick being healed Marriage is being restored Victory over all forms of addiction Child promotions Average people becoming millionaires Warriors becoming blessed and unstoppable These videos will motivate and inspire you to take action Warning Your faith is now being increased to the level it takes to move mountains Grind Arise champion I'm Billy Alls Brooks and I approve this message. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you life is gonna be Ron Howard happy days every day. It's not gonna be that way. Matter of fact, it's probably gonna be the opposite. You see, the enemy is gonna throw everything he has in his toolbox at you. Now, he can't stop you himself, but his objective is to get you to stop you. This message is for the struggle, for all those going through trials and tribulations. People in this world are gonna fool you, disappoint you, turn their back on you. The closest around you are gonna give up on you. And when things hit the fan, everybody's gonna run. You're gonna look around and you're gonna be all alone. I'm just keeping it real with you because somebody out there needs to hear what I'm saying. This ain't a motivational video. Man, this is life. This ain't no game to me and I know what you're going through. And I'm going to speak life into you right now. Nothing, listen to me, nothing can stop you. God will never leave you nor forsake you and that is all there's a power inside of you that you can only discover when you are truly alone. Just as the waves on a beach shore come in and out, people will do the same. Relationships are like music and you should never make music with anybody who doesn't understand, appreciate, and value your lyrics. Sometimes, you just gotta let these people go. You gotta know your worth. Sometimes you just gotta let them people go. You gotta stop chasing people who don't appreciate you. Sometimes in this life, champion, you gotta remind the world just who you are. And you don't do this by telling them with your mouth. You tell them with your actions. You make your actions speak loud and proud to who you are. Don't let the world convince you that you're a nobody. You're somebody who just don't know it yet. Do you hear what I'm saying, champion? I'm speaking to the champion in you. Rise, champion. The way of the warrior. Champion eyes. Get back up. My spirit cries. Fear dies. Choked out by the scream. The desire to climb and live out my dream. Take it for the team. Discipline reigns. I want it too bad to listen to the pain. I'm a winner. To God be the glory. Tragedy and setbacks. An inspirational story. Warriors like me, we were strategically designed for the struggle. Many before me gave up and quit. Acted all bad <laughs> to the first time they got here. But see, blood don't scare me. I feel
fear not death. Whatever it takes, champion, to be the best of the best. I was made for war. I cry out to heaven, blessed and unstoppable, an immortal legend. Climb, I say, the unclimbable mountain. Kicking and punching, I just keep on pounding. I found it, that deep desire to win. I remember defeat and I say, never again. See, warriors like me, we were born and strategically designed for the struggle. The way of the warrior, champion eyes, get back up my spirit prize. Fear dies, choked out by the screams, the desire to climb and live out my dreams. Take it for the team, discipline reigns. I want it too bad to bow to pain. I'm a winner. To God be the glory. Tragedy setbacks. An inspirational story. Many before me gave up and quit. Acted all bad till the first time they got in. Blood don't scare me. I fear not death. Whatever it takes, champion. To be the best of the best. Climb, I say, the unclimbable mountain. Kicking and punching, I just keep on pounding. Because I'm a warrior, and that's what we do. I'm Billy Osbrooks, blessed and unstoppable. To God be the glory. What kind of life do you want to live? Success is a choice. It's a decision that only you can make for you. First comes the choice, then comes the commitment. Are you willing to commit to doing what it takes to go where you want to go? A lot of people say they want to be successful, but they struggle and they stumble on that commitment part. A lot of times, the only way we will make that commitment is we have to hit rock bottom. We have to get so sick and tired of feeling the way we do before we'll ever take the action needed to crawl up out of that pit. I think you're ready. I think you're ready and you wouldn't be listening to me right now. I think you know that you have greatness on the inside of you and you just need somebody to speak over your life and that's what I'm gonna do right now. I speak greatness over you. Arise, champion! I'm speaking to somebody out there. The reason you feel so uncomfortable on the inside is because you know you're not being the best version of you that you can be. That discomfort is trying to move you from where you're at to where you belong. Your destiny is greatness. And you know this on the inside. And that voice just keeps on calling and you're never going to have the peace until you go become who you are supposed to be. Now we're gonna set this change in motion for you right now. I want you to say this with me. I want you to say this out loud. I am ready to change my life. I am willing and committed to going all in and fully commit to doing the things that it takes to become the person I was meant to be. And that starts right now. All excuses stop right now. I will not, from this point forward, point the blame at anybody else for my own destiny. I will take responsibility for who I want to be. I will get up every day and work toward that person that I know that I am on the inside. I pledge with all my actions allegiance to success. I will search deep down inside for a why that will allow me to run through walls with it. Because I will not be denied. Champions put in place the habits and daily rituals that manufacture success. They push themselves constantly to the point of pain. 
and by refusing to tap out to that pain, they eventually give birth to greatness. Pain is no match for a real champion. The legends understand to be a winner, one must be comfortable at being uncomfortable. The dark, the unknown, the fears that stalk each and every one of us must be faced and faced alone. For the more we go through the fire, the more refined we become. Those struggles, trials, and tribulations, they mold and shape us, prepare us for the calling and events to come. We learn to perform under stress, under duress, and without hesitation, because perfect practice consistently makes one perfect all the time. The inner standard of a champion sets him apart from the masses, the wannabes, and the uncommitted. Legends refuse to settle for mediocrity. For them, being average is the plague and totally unacceptable. Champions go all in all the time. Not just on game day. When the practice is over for the team, the work for the champion just begins. They understand the process and what is required to be elite, to be great, to be the best. It requires obsession, passion, focus, and an unbelievable work ethic. Sweat becomes the friend of the 1%. Success is available to anybody that is willing to work for it. Success can only be bought with the currency of hard work. And champions refuse to concede to anything less than leaving every ounce of themselves on the practice field. The weight room, the classroom, whatever champions do, they carry that same inner standard of greatness with them. They don't turn it on and off depending on where they're at. It is constant. They never enter an environment without it. To stand next to them is to be infected. Their commitment inspires, strengthens, and impacts everyone who comes in contact with them. They are the leaders, not by word, but by actions. They set the example for their teammates and exemplify the message, blessed and unstoppable. I got a question for you. Are you living life or is life living you? How bad do you want to be successful? Are you ready to level up in life? Are you ready to go to that next level? Are you sick of being average? I ask you again, are you living life or is life living you? This August 4th, Orlando, Florida, less than unstoppable, the kickoff tour. I'll be teaching a four hour life-changing seminar on the art of greatness arise champion this event will sell out get your tickets now billy allsbrooks live august 4th orlando florida be there get your tickets now at billyallsbrooks.com backslash events we are running out of time What are you going to do with the time you have left? I say that if you don't reposition yourself, you could miss the best time in your life, in this season of life. Because we have got to change the way we think. We have got to change the way we function. We have got to change the way we deal with issues. And the reason that you have to begin to reposition the way you think and the way you function and the way you feel is that we many times are stuck between the lines of limited thinking and limited people and limited ideas and limited philosophies and there's something creative down inside of you saying let there be. You need to walk into a situation where you've been locked up and tied up and tangled up and say, let there be light, let there be healing, let there be books, let there be change in this city. 
you have tried four or five or six, seven, eight, nine, ten different things. Each you worked on 90 days or so and then said it doesn't work. How can you be a leader with a 90-day test? Of course it didn't work. You didn't stick to it long enough. You didn't fight hard enough. You didn't do what it took to win and rather than to correct it and get it right, you walked away from it and tried something else and for the last 10, 15 years of your life, you've been on the run from one thing to the next thing to the next thing trying to make all this stuff work. Stop it. Stand still. You have to have the courage to live with the pressure and the criticism. New levels bring new devils. You have to be tough. You have to be tough to be able to stand it. It's a tough of keeping your kids encouraged while you secretly worry to death yourself. It's a tough of getting ready for a birthday and don't have a birthday gift. It's a tough of not being able to get the light bill paid and the water bill paid. It's tough. But what do we do with these moments? Do we just have them and go back home and wait for the next one? Almost like junkies getting a fix or smokers smoking a cigarette? Are we just habitually addicted to moments without being able to take that moment and use it strategically to do something in our lives? You do not have to accept it the way it is Somewhere down inside of you there is creativity. We got to break out of the barriers and the limitations and get outside of the box. Something is about to happen in your life. You've got to take it one day at a time. And when you get to the end of the day, you say, I'm not finished, but I've done everything that I was supposed to do for that day, for that time, for that season. Your season is shifting. You will be able to do now in a way that you have never been able to do it before. You haven't sung your best song. You haven't preached your best sermon yet. You haven't thought your greatest thought. You haven't written down your greatest idea. You haven't dreamed your best dream. Baby, you have laughed your best laugh. You haven't had your greatest day yet. It's somewhere inside of you. You're a miracle looking for a place to happen. You have got all kinds of things locked up inside of you that are about to come forth for such a time as this. The time is right. The stage is set. The conditions are in order. And something awesome is about to happen in your life. Don't let anybody tell you you're too young. Don't let anybody tell you you're too old. Don't let anybody tell you you're fitted. Every day you wake up in the morning, it's a sign. The best is yet to come. This is my moment, and I am determined to live it. The mind is the battleground. The fight is in your mind. Are you ready for the next level? What are you going to do with the time you have left? I'm telling you, you can make whatever kind of money you want to make. You can have whatever you want to have. You can do whatever you want to do. Like there are no limitations. And aren't you tired? There's some of y'all out there right now. You're tired. You know, somebody telling you when to come to work. Somebody telling you when to take lunch. Somebody telling you when to do a vacation. Somebody telling you what you can and cannot do. Some of us, we were born to fly. But what I'm telling you is when you become the right person, what I mean by the right person is once you identify who you are and you begin to separate yourself from the masses and you begin to see your individuality when you begin to see your talents when you begin to see your personal skills all right it's like this if you ever wore a suit from the store before that's one thing but if you ever got a suit tailored are you hearing what I'm saying? If you ever got a tailored suit before, you know that it's different from going to buy a one size fits all suit and then having a suit that's tailor made. It fit different. The pants are different. The way you walk in it is totally different. Why? Because it's fit to you. And what I'm telling you is you need to have a tailor made life. When you were created, you were created with a specific purpose, a specific design. I don't care if you was born and you know your parents didn't claim you, you still special. I don't care. 
if your mama wasn't in your life, your daddy wasn't in your life, you are still special. When you were created, you were designed to do what nobody else can do. And I'm telling you, when you become the right person, when you become the right person, what you do is you start separating yourself from other people. You begin to have a certain uniqueness. As long as you're following other people, as long as you're being a copycat, you will never ever be the best copycat in the world. But you will be the best you could be. So I'm telling you, number one, number one, I'm telling you to define your value, right? Number two, I challenge you, listen to me. If you want to make more money, if you want to be more successful, if you want to have and do stuff you ain't never done before, number two, I'm asking you to invest in you. That's right, invest what? Number one, I'm asking you to invest time. I'm asking you to invest time in yourself. Some of y'all, you spend so much time with other people, you spend so much time trying to get people to like you, you spend so much time trying to fit in that you don't even know who you are. You know other people more than you know yourself. You study them, you know about them, you want to hang out like them, you want to be just like them. And you know what? You've invested so much time in them, you don't know who you are. I challenge you to spend time by yourself. I challenge you to take yourself out. There's some young ladies right now, you fine, you pretty, you got it going on, some brothers, you handsome, you suave, you got swag, but you know what your problem is? You, you, you've been in one relationship after another relationship, and you ain't never been in a good relationship because you don't even know you. You spend so much time taking her out, you spend so much time trying to impress him, you spend so much time buying her flowers, taking her out to lunch, you spend so much time calling him, you don't even know who you are. You heard what I said. You've invested so much of your time in being liked by other people, being loved by other people, being appreciated by other people, that you don't even know who you are. And I challenge you to invest time in your own self. I challenge you to get to a place when people don't like you, it don't even bother you no more. Why? Because you're not concerned with trying to make them happy because you're trying to blow up. You're trying to get to the next level. E.T., I don't like the fact that you do this. I don't care. I'm not living my life for you. I'm living my life for me. The differential of somebody winning and losing has nothing to do with their genetics, has nothing to do with their potential. It's their perseverance, always showing up. A person that's willing to gamble it. If you show up, then you have a chance. If you don't show up, the outcome's simple. Never there, like an audition. If you show up to the audition, there's a chance you might get the part. If you're too scared to show up and you sit back at home, wondering what if and everything else, no one in hell is gonna call you an opportunity because you weren't present. The winners always show up. They're willing to lose in order to gain. Big mental thing there, guys. Everyone could take action. Literally, if it's that simple, if all it takes to succeed is the ability to know what you want, take action, know if it's working, and keep changing until you get what you want, how come everybody doesn't do it? You go after and you give it all you have. If you lose, at least you try, man. I failed. It's 10 times more of a man than someone said, what if? Because what if never went to the arena? The reason is fear. And the fear is usually fear of failure or success or rejection. But the real word I would use for this thing we're afraid of is pain. When you guys find a fear, that fear will either create you or destroy you. I love fear. The reason why? Behind every fear is the person you want to be. Fear is self-imposed, meaning it doesn't exist. You create it, you can destroy it too. It's an intangible. If you face your fears, guys, you will realize it's not that big. You face your fears, you become the person you want to be. You run from your fears, you're not living. You're alive, but you're not thinking the freedom. You're not running the day, the day's running you. You always be the fucking servant, not the master, guys. If you find a fear, the quickest, easiest way you can beat it is initially, right when it comes in. If you allow it to sit, it will grow root and start breaking you down, destroying the potential of the person you can be. Again, the champions, guys. It's not their potential, it's not their genetics. It's their perseverance to always show up, always willing to fail, because in failure, that's part of success. Success is not, you know, a marathon of life with just ups. Success is formulated through failures, through facing your fears, through falling down and getting back up. That's what creates the champion. Success does not define us, we define the success. Blessed and unstoppable. Success starts with putting the right things into your mind. And my new book, Blessed and Unstoppable, was strategically designed to align your mind with the laws of success. This curriculum will teach you the inner mechanics required to go from average to phenomenal. 
from living a life with limits to being blessed and unstoppable. As you follow this guide step by step, amazing breakthroughs will happen. New doors of opportunity will open and favor will begin to chase you down. Blessed and Unstoppable is a 31 day devotional on the laws of success. This book will instigate the thought process and actions required to transform your life. Each day has a Bible verse, a teaching on that day's principle, a positive affirmation, a prayer for the day, self-assessment questions, success quotes, action steps, and a powerful inspirational message. Regardless of what field you're in, Blessed and Unstoppable is your blueprint for success. Get your copy at blessedandunstoppable.com. Also available on Amazon.